Hey everyone, it's about time you knew about the truth regarding Allegiant Stadium, Las Vegas Stadium, and its funding problems and construction problems that will lead to an opening that's late. First of all, funding. What started this video for me was seeing applied analysis economist Jeremy Aguillo saying essentially, oh, there's nothing to worry about. We have it covered. We have a year's worth of money to pay down the monthly bond debt on the project. It's a 30-year bond issue. And what happens within that is starting 2021, the annual debt service increases by $1 million from 2021 to 2029. The bond document that forms a structure, the Bible, if you will, regarding the $750 million bond issue specifically states that the Las Vegas Stadium Authority is supposed to have double, double, double the average annual bond debt service, or $90.2 million. The last fund report of the Stadium Authority, which was issued in January, that's it, nothing else since January of this year, explained that the bond had a debt service reserve of $56.8 million. However, it was just over $34 million underfunded from where it's supposed to be, $90.2 million. So the Las Vegas Stadium Authority goes into this pandemic with a bond debt service reserve that was already underfunded. And guess what? It's not at $56.8 million anymore. Why? Because we just are about to go through, that's right, April and into May. And in April is where we had the extremely low hotel occupancy numbers that started off as a result of the coronavirus problem. You're going to have many more months of that. But here is the story. If you expend $45 million of that over the next year, you will be left with simply just $11 million approximately in the debt service reserve, which is still right now far short of its funding goal by Nevada Senate Bill 1 of $90.2 million. So, you mean to tell me you're comfortable, Mr. Aguello, with going through the next five years limping along on a debt service reserve that will be barely in existence with no plan to replenish it? What are you trying to do? Maybe you're comforted by the fact that the bond document, the bond Bible for this bond issue doesn't have any language in it that contains any penalties for having a debt service reserve that peters to zero and forces you to dig into the taxpayer's pocket to cover the rest. Let's be honest. That's why it's called a general obligation bond and not a revenue bond. Tell the truth. The other thing that bothered me about that TV spot that you did with the Las Vegas Five News is you did not express condolences for not one but two but three workers on the project that came down with a coronavirus, it would have been nice to hold them in your thoughts rather than just plowing through on this fake news mantra that you all have been uttering regarding this stadium. Tell the truth. The truth is the stadium project is in trouble. It was in trouble before, now it's really in trouble. And you don't know what's going to happen next. Admit that so you can then 
structure a plan to replenish the bond debt service reserve before it's too late, before you can make absolutely certain that you have funds to replace the potentially lost sponsorship revenue, to make sure that you have enough money to build the new streets and roads around the stadium. Didn't talk about that, did you? Remember the report that the Nevada Department of Transportation issued the night before the vote on the, the bill through the Nevada legislature that gave life to the $750 million bond subsidy? Remember that? It said the total cost of refurbishing the roads, rebuilding the roads, building new roads, and upgrading streets around the stadium was close to a billion dollars. Remember that? Remember that night that almost sunk the project? I do. It's time to be real. It's time for truth. Look at the stadium animation model. It stops. Late May. You were supposed to finish in late May. You're not going to see late May as a finishing date. You're not even going to see July 31st as a completely finished date. You and I both know it. Please stop with this. For the good of all that is right, for the good of all that is holy, tell the truth so that you can get to the place of planning for the future finding solutions to the problems, and moving or helping to move Las Vegas forward. It needs it. You can't, can't avoid what's happening, and you can't improve if you keep trying to do so. Stop with the Pollyannish stories. Start telling the truth. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.